just stopped at the services, Lakeside services near the Dartford crossing because I have got I have got enough time I'm, I'm on my way back um, to the yard now I have got enough time to get to the Stansted airport services on the M11 but if I get stuck in traffic then ooh, it may be a bit dodgy so I've, I've had to stop here um, I've had quarter of an hour break already I've still got another half hour to have so I'm going to, to take that now but one thing that is really not very nice about these services is the smell gentlemen please use the conveniences provided I shall say no more we haven't had too much problem getting in now but give it another few hours and this place will be full of trucks and you'd have a problem to get in so really you really if you're traveling sort of like from tea, from tea time onwards and you need to stop for a break you really need to consider are you, are you going to be able to get in there I've not had a problem so far but I have had difficulty and had to park in some let's just say unusual places um, you know so do think ahead and think think about you know come tea time when a lot of the, the, the what's called trampers are stopping um, for their overnight breaks um, you know you need to consider that you know they, once their, their trucks stop they can't move it or anything like that so anyway just consider it so anyway we'll have a wander around <laughs>
Sometimes on the road you come across a vehicle that causes you some concern. This blue lorry caused me a little bit of concern because I noticed that he was encroaching over the, the near side edge line. So that's the, the white line on the road to the left hand side of the lorry. His wheels were going over and it wasn't just once, it was quite a few times. Um, I did notice that he, his general driving style was um, where he would position his ve the vehicle quite close to that line naturally. So he was keeping well away from that lane line on his right. I, I don't know why. Everybody's driving style is slightly different. But what it meant was with this particular driver that um, had he gone too far over um, that edge line, um, it could have tipped the lorry um, if he wasn't paying attention. You, you know, so you've got to have a, a bit of a judgment call as to what do you do. You can hang back and give plenty of room um, or you can try and get past and you know get ahead of him now his speed was pretty much the same as mine although I had a very slight margin so I did have that opportunity to, to overtake and I thought if, if he does go over that edge line too far where would I want to be? Would I want to be behind or in front? And I thought, well, actually, I thought he would rather be in front. And he didn't seem to be getting anywhere near that lane line on his right. So I risked overtaking and getting in front um, to get past that behaviour. Um, he was going at a fair pace, so um, I just didn't want to be anywhere near him, really. This is the charming market town of Olney in Buckinghamshire. It's also famed for being the home to the most sung, song, sang in the world, allegedly. Amazing Grace. And Amazing Grace was written by a chap called John Newton who happened to be a former slave ship captain who later repented his sins and one of the things he, he, he did was to uh, write this song, Amazing Grace. So I was quite surprised while driving through this delightful little town to find a locomotive coming straight for me down the main street. <laughs> <laughs>